gonna do it. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna make some changes. Boom! Yeah! What? I'm not a ninja, but I play one on TV. Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. A little special edition today. This is gonna be like your Friday pep talk because I've like, I've had enough of myself. We are having an early winter. Obviously, the corn didn't even get out of the fields. I haven't even got the leaves out of my yard. There's leaves still on the trees. We're in a cold spell. We've got an early winter going on and I've just been like angry. I've been so angry about things. Like I don't have enough time. Oh, this fall has been absolutely insane for me. My mom, uh, I had to sell her estate and clean it all out. I, I, we've got the new property in the UP I've been trying to deal with, get situated. Now in early winter, oh, Oh, I've been like fighting. I'm just like, I don't have enough time and I'm so stressed out. I just want to chill and I'm like, somebody just needs to slap me. Ow. Oh, that hurt. <sighs> yeah. I need a gut check. Where are my priorities? And maybe I'm not the only one going through this. Maybe you've got some problems in your life. Maybe it's money problems. Maybe it's relationship problems. Maybe it's health problems. You sit on your couch, you sit in your chair, you sit around, you do nothing to change your circumstances. Boxes are defeated. Purpose always sleep. I pose questions to the ceiling like an answer gonna come. Truth is too revealing. Life is easier concealing. All emotions to the start on your heart going numb. I shouldn't be in drive I just want to feel alive more. I feel hurt all the time, but I can't see straight. I've been running on the freeway. Like it blinded by the headlights. They go past me. I see the last me. Now I ever will be. That got me asking. Living this lightly. Stepping the right thing. Or should I been a little bit more focused on the place that my feet needed to go? And as they go past me, I see the last me. That I ever will be. That got me asking. If living this lightly. Been the right thing, or should I been more focused on what she wanted to go? I die right now. Well, today I'm like, I, I, I look at this beautiful sun. I had an epiphany, and I'm like, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I need to slap myself. Where are my priorities? What am I doing with my time? Okay, I've got a plan, and I'm gonna challenge you on this plan too. Number one, less time online less time on your phone, less time staring at a screen. I've talked about this a lot, but I'm serious. Less time on your screens. That's the number one thing I'm gonna do and you can do to reclaim your time. Number two, your health. I I've started working out every single morning. I'm really passionate about keeping in shape and staying strong. I've been working out and doing this my whole life. The last few years, you know I'm getting older, I'm getting lazy. I'm getting totally lazy. I need to, I need to kick it into gear again. I need to make some changes, do some workouts. I need to kick butt. Yeah! <laughs> so, first thing I do in the morning, get my kids off to school and I'm getting in my workout. It's a quick 15 minute high intensity workout. There's lots of stuff online, even though I told you not to be online just now. Go online, find something quick that works for you. Maybe it's yoga, maybe it's stretching, maybe it's a quick cardio. I'm kind of doing all of it. I'm determined to start my day strong. The next thing I do, get my workout down, I open up my Bible. I need a spiritual cleansing. It starts to impact your life when you're not in the Bible, you're not reading scripture. Keeping yourself grounded, giving yourself words of wisdom to start your day every day with love and with purpose and for a greater good. So, workout, get in my Bible, read some scripture. What am I putting in my body? I gotta be honest, sometimes I like to have a drink or two and I gotta watch myself. Maybe for you it's food, maybe it's candy, soda, whatever that thing is in your life that sometimes you think, I might be indulging a little bit too much. I gotta watch myself, I gotta do a gut check. Take a step back, look from the outside in and say, ah, you know, could I cut back on this? The answer is probably yes. What is it that could become a problem if you don't watch it? Are you eating junk? I'm lately trying to stick with lots of fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, um, whole foods. 
Have you ever heard somebody say shop the outside aisles of the grocery store? Because that's where all your whole foods are. Once you start to go inside, the more processed the aisles get, you're gonna be in the frozen food section with all kinds of junk. The processed foods. Shop whole foods, put real good food into your body, and fuel yourself to feel better. Number five. I've been so complaining. I have been a miser about this weather. Like, I didn't get my leaves done. I, we haven't got wood done. I'm trying to set up this property that I have for winter and it's, I can't even get in there now. There's so much snow, not here, but there. And you know, I, hello, wake up. I just need to be present where I am. Be present. Don't complain. Don't fuss and muss over things you can't change. I can't change the weather. So you know what I did today? I got my boots out. I got my winter coat. I got the gloves. I fed the birds. I'm moving into a winter mentality. It's way earlier than normal. It's earlier than I want to be dealing with, but so what? It's here. Thank you, Lord, for the sunshine today. Thank you for the beautiful snow that glistens. Thank you for this place with four seasons. I need to have an attitude of gratitude instead of complaining and fighting things that I can't change, which brings me to number six. This is number six, guys, and it's a big one. Stop watching the news, okay? The news, I, I go through the headlines, you know, and then it draws me in. I'm reading articles that I can't do anything about to change, and maybe they're heartbreaking stories of, of disasters, of murder, of crime, of corruption. It's a bad thing to indulge in. So I'm watching myself on the news, and I don't have TV, but I go online, I read the headlines and whatnot. Man, stop watching the news. So instead, Go outside. Go outside. I don't care what kind of weather it is. As soon as it turns rainy and crappy, I'm like, man, I can't stand it. I don't want to go outside. But when I go outside, you put the right gear on, you're fine. You actually can have a good day, even in the rain, even in the cold. I did it last year, 28 straight days in the month of February. I went outside, had a fire, had some food, and it was awesome. Go for a walk. So should we recap? Because I'm on a rant. I'm on a roll. Here we go. Number one. What was number one? Anyway, I'm just sick of myself. I need to shut up and do something. And you know what? That's a really good thing to do is if you're thinking about doing something, you're like, well, I'll just ease into it. I'll, I'll just do it gradually. No, do it right now. You can change your day today. You can change your thinking today. You can change your habits today. You ever heard of that book, uh, The Five Second Rule? There she is. It's my girl. Come here. Come here. Are you exploring? Easy good girl. The five second rule is once you see something, or you're determined to do something, you've got five seconds to actually make it happen, to, to encourage actual change and results in your life. So, I, I'm going through my emails like, oh, I'm kind of overwhelmed by this, I'll do it later. Don't do it later. I see it, bam, I reply. It's done, it's over. I don't have to think, I've got more stuff to do. Uh, you feel like you wanna eat something better? Bam, go do it. You wanna go get some exercise? Do it. Shut up and do something. Shut up and do something. Stop complaining, stop whining, stop wanting things to change. You have to change yourself. So pumped up today. <laughs> He's always my sheepdog on watch though. Don't you just love that? So every Friday, I'm gonna be checking in. I'm gonna check in on you every Friday. We're gonna go for a walk, a workout. We're gonna do something together to keep our butts motivated. Who's with me? Leave your comments below. I wanna hear about your struggles, what you're gonna do about it, starting today. We're all in this together. Happy Friday. This is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, and don't forget to get outside and get happy.